Coming off a win in their first road trip of the year, the 14th ranked Nittany Lions were glad to be back home in the friendly and frenzied atmosphere of Beaver Stadium, surrounded by more than 104,000 of their closest friends for their first ever meeting against Eastern Illinois. The Panthers came to town ranked 25th in the country in the FCS, formerly and better known as Division I AA. Penn State's offense was running smoothly from their first snap. Royster, left side, good block, 40, 45, to the 50, near side, 45, Eastern Illinois, 40, out of bounds, inside the 40. Clark, snap, back to pass, wants Powell in the flat, has to make a man, missed us, 40, 30, inside the 30, to the first down for the Nittany Lions. Penn State right now can, can run the football, they can throw the ball, they can do anything they want to do on this drive. This time it's a good kick out block and just reading that and comes right underneath that suey block. That's one thing I think is noticeable is Joe Paterno's team has such a significant size difference. And here. strength, speed, you know, pretty much at every position. Quarterback Steve Clark reaches the football out. Touchdown, Penn State. Three touchdowns and two weeks rushing for Daryl Clark on the Nittany Wise cap an 85 yard drive. Defensively, Penn State entered the game tops in the Big Ten and seventh in the country in points allowed per game. They were focused from the start. They had a familiar quarterback to face, Jake Christensen, who had started for Iowa at Beaver Stadium two years earlier before he transferred. In fact, Eastern Illinois had a roster full of transfers from schools like Iowa and Florida, and this was the fourth straight year they had played a Big Ten team, so they were not going to be intimidated. But they were going to be beaten and that was apparent early on. Put down by Boone, kick by Wagner's up. The kick is good. 10-0 Nittany Lions. It was a good first quarter with 10 points in two possessions, but the Nittany Lions were about to take over the game on a colossal scale. Worship picks up 26 more yards on the play. And a good job by a wide, young wide receiver, Justin Brown, blocking the defensive back downfield. That's how you get a big, long run by your running back, your wide receiver is doing a good job. And the senior out of Fairfax is going to be close to 100 by halftime. Clark out of the gun on first and 15. Back he goes with time. He throws, Suggs oh. wide over the 10, cuts inside to the 5. First down inside the 5 at the 2-yard line. The Nittany Lions on the doorstep again. Play action, Clark rolls near side to bracket. Touchdown, Penn State. Their diverse offense kept the Panthers guessing while their relentless defense kept Christensen on the run. Despite the uniform change, his second trip to Beaver Stadium would be even more unpleasant than the first. Linebacker Chris Colasanti picked up his first career sack in the second quarter. And Penn State played near-perfect football over a seven-and-a-half-minute stretch that would produce a knockout punch of four touchdowns scored almost every which way imaginable. Set long and deep for Chaz Powell. Powell wrapped up, makes the catch. Touchdown, Penn State. Powell with a fabulous reception for the score. He was interfered at the five-yard line and still made the catch. 24-0. But that's just a simple play action fake in a post pattern by Powell downfield and just doing a better job of just out fighting the defender for the football. Didn't care about the pass interference and still just concentrated on the ball and made the catch. Penn State continued their streak of not allowing a touchdown in the first half all season and their special teams were not going to be outdone. Andrew Daly blocked a punt that gave Penn State the ball at the EIU 33 and it took just two plays to cash in. He wants the end zone. He throws to the end zone. Wide open. Touchdown. Penn State. Derek Boy. Just about a perfect first half. It was Clark's third touchdown pass in less than five and a half minutes, all to different receivers. But Penn State still wasn't finished. A.J. Wallace got the ball back with an interception, but the Panthers intercepted right back. And Eastern Illinois had their best scoring chance of the half. Navarro Bowman, a senior from District Heights, Maryland. Another name to get used to if you like to watch the NFL. He looks far side, now he looks up the middle. He's in trouble. And spins away, still, and loses the football, recovered by Penn State, and on the run. There they go. It's going to be Bowman to the 50, 40, 40, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Penn State. The final Bowman returns the fumble. 91 yards for a touchdown. Navarro Bowman with a fumble return. Ali Ogbu knocked it loose. So instead of allowing their first touchdown in the first half all season, the defense scores one. Quarterback Darrell Clark would play just two series in the second half, but that was enough to get Penn State another touchdown. 
He got the Lions within striking distance with his pinpoint passing accuracy, and they finished the job on the ground, churning up big chunks of real estate for the second straight week. Evan Royster at 94 yards in the first half. Now it was Stefan Green's turn. Green, left side, follows Suey. 25, 20, 15, 10. Cuts inside to the five. Touchdown, Penn State. 26 yards for Stefan Green. The Lions lead it 45 to 3. I think the big key is to get the football back for the offense and to get, getting some experience for the, a lot of those young guys on the offensive side of the ball. Another sack for the Nittany Lions. Five of them for the Penn State defense, and it was time for Kevin Newsom to get some snaps at quarterback. With six Big Ten games left on the schedule, the second half was a perfect time for a lot of players to get some game experience. Brandon Beecham and Justin Brown caught passes to help Newsom go four for five, but he was probably more excited about scoring. Newsom in the gun with Beecham to his right. Newsom up the middle to the five. Touchdown, Penn State. Kevin Newsom with his first career touchdown run. Another non-conference win for Penn State, setting them up for the test the rest will provide in a half dozen Big Ten games.